guess in that sort of way I kind of embrace imposter syndrome because it, it does push me to be better. My name is Ellen Stevenson. I'm a character artist at Puny Astronaut. I've always been interested in art, drawn cartoons all my life. I've always played games. It, it, it took me a long time to realise that those two things could actually meld. As soon as I, I found out that working in games uh, was an option for me, yeah, there was, there was no other option. be super pretentious about it. It's to fill an imaginary world with life. Because it's it's hard. Like empathy, um, I think yes, is a big thing of what I, I have to do. But at the same time, if I exclusively tried to put empathy into all of the characters that I was making, um, they would all turn out the same, probably. So a lot of the time it's, you know, either referencing other media, or just talking to other people about it. You know, in, in just by collaborating and using loads of different sources, it makes it a character a lot more real. So in order for me to create the character, I've got like a list somewhere of like all the key points and stuff like that that I go through. But usually I'll have a kind of rough idea of what we need in the beginning. It's like, what kind of environment do they need to be in? What purpose do they need to fulfil? What kind of emotions do we want the player to feel when they meet them? Is it is it cute or is it is it helpless? Is it um, strong? There's loads of different little things and sometimes it's really hard because you'll latch onto this idea of this dorky, lovable character, but then when you actually like start ticking off all those boxes, you'll find actually this person needs to have some like confidence. Imposter syndrome is something that I think everybody suffers from. I think everyone who is in a creative role, whether that be in the games industry or somewhere else, like it's really, really hard, especially when you're almost working in a sort of a bubble, because that you do start to doubt yourself a little bit. Like, will anybody actually like this? You know, do I have the skills to do this? I try to kind of fob it off by being like well everybody else gets it so hopefully that means I'm normal but then I look at some other people's work and I'm like oh no maybe I shouldn't be here <laughs> maybe I'm the one who is the, the imposter you know for the games industry as a whole to help out people who are struggling I don't think there's any one solution you know it's it's the same with a lot of things in society it's it's, it's building moments to relax like you might not find some sort of solution but see sitting down and being like yeah man, what am I doing here? With someone else you'll be like, oh okay, it's normal. You know like, what is it, Michelle Obama talked about it? Michelle Obama? <laughs> like, she feels imposter syndrome, come on. Mm -hmm.